count Johnny. Johnny where I count, he, you know what? I count Johnny. I'm going to say it. He went Marth. Marth Marquez is a very powerful opponent, and he chose to play Marth Marquez. He had. He may choose to play Marth Marquez today. To, he had here. a guaranteed edge guard at Smash Factor and decided to not go for it and then killed himself. We're here in collusion. We're here in. A collision? A collision. No collusion. We're here in collision, collusion. All right, so we've got Triff, very strong player. Often the first seed, often has to defend it in Europe. No easy task. And does it. And does it a lot. Just Three, beat JMook. Just beat JMook, which is unreal, right? Yeah. That's a, that's a big one. He beat Josh Man too. If you didn't see that set, definitely make sure you check it out on YouTube. Triff is at, spoiler alert, 148%. Yeah. Last stock, it made a three stock comeback. Popped off so hard that the stage shook. And that was game four, wasn't it? I thought it was game five. But game four was also like Triff was at death percent and barely won and came back too. I think there were multiple comebacks in that set. If anyone can do it, it's Triff. He is an iron wall. He is so difficult to break through. And then you have Mango. We are seeing a rededication of Mango to the game. An unstoppable force. I love one it. One of the most aggressive players to ever do it. And one of the smartest to ever do it as well. Yeah. Versus yeah. an immovable object. I think also it's one of the smartest players to ever do it. It's tough though. We talked about Wally when it was you get the dopamine of beating the best player in the world. What really happens after that? How if you're Mango after 15 years, after I don't know, 17, however, 18 almost, do you find the fight to come back and fight the harder and harder versions of New Game Plus a million? as these smashers get stronger and stronger. I mean, that's, he's got a sports psychologist. He's going, he's seeing a sports psychologist, tweeting about it, talking like about that. trying to renew his love for the game. I feel like, I'd, I'd like to hope as, a, 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 inside, we are all Mango fans. We all love Mango. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And we want to see Mango do really well. I mean, when he's on fire, he's the best player in the world. Well, I want him to be happy, really, you know? I mean, like, he doesn't have happy. to dance for my amusement. Yeah, no. Yeah. And it felt like after the Ossify loss, something was different about that one. Yeah. It, it felt like, Rage. He, and he, he wanted it back. He put his heart on the line and took two losses that he really, really did not want to take. And he was not playing bad and, you know, it's a very difficult thing to go undergo. It is. Let's see if Mango takes it. But I, I mean, the last time he was in New Jersey. That's right, Royal he Flush. He won the tournament. Yeah. He has not been in Jersey oh since Oh my then. god. He looks like Royal Flush. This looks shades of Armada. Can we do Mango Armada? I don't think Armada would have down smashed this much, though. Triff definitely pressed the C-Stick down four times in a row. Uh, yeah, okay. Five yeah, times I'm in seeing a row. it now, yeah. But you know what? You got to test at the beginning of the set, and it's going to work out there. Keep gambling. Beautiful if we spacing. from the wall, he said. Yes. Keep gambling. But Triff has gone game five the last two times they've played. One of them was many years ago. One of them was a lot more recent. With a Marth. That oh. Mango did win with Marth. That's true. I mean, the Marth, I honestly do expect that we might see the Marth. On FD? Huge, huge utility on FD. Beautiful edge guard. Mango looking strong. Up four stocks to two. But Triff, such a resilient player. The thing is with like watching Mango's Fox is sometimes he'll have these moments where he is playing like super, super on point, like really aggressive, like doing these crazy sequences. Uh -huh. And I don't don't get me wrong, Mango's playing really well right now. But he's playing the run and gun game. He's playing a very precise and like the, the big brain fox. But do you see it? So it's it's the full hop around if you think it's going to be drill, and then instant attack, and then following. Oh, oh my God! Oh my God! Stop Mango. Him. The stage can't stop him. The platforms can't stop him. Triff can't stop him. Let's just go to game two. Mango's on fire right now. Yeah, this is incredible. Okay, Triff, your turn. He is completely outplaying Triff. There is nothing that Triff can do. It seems. Yeah. He gets a down smash. Mango di's up and techs it. That shine up smash almost connected, but then Triff with an opportunity gets some pressure. Mango went to stage there. Yeah. What other Fox would go to stage there and survive? That's crazy. Mango aware of the mix-ups, especially for Peach. Goes right at Triff that time, testing every possible angle and option. While tossing the turnip back and forth, playing catch with that. Triff with some really smart approaching there. At that height, the platforms are not going to allow for short hops in the same way. And again there, too. Monsters grab from the depths. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. They're sending the other way, and Mango firing right back, tries to go for a crazy up smash, gets Shit. anywhere. That is really, really good, and we've seen a couple of those. We've seen those shine up smashes off the run like that. And the thing that I want to point out that's so good right now, 
Mango's dash back. Yes. It's dash back, shoot laser in your face. Dash back, immediately come back and hit you. So tight, but so fast as soon as he knows. It's like every time he shoots the gun, Triff wants to approach. But yeah. he knows Triff's going to approach. And that's when he threw out the uh, short off there. And the butt grab almost gets... And it's okay for Triff to bail out here, but here I do expect a chain grab. We do not see Marth Marquez. Hey. Hey. This Man is going to go on for a while. So Mango is going to stay in the center of the stage. He's going to do some tactical DI. He does not have reverse port priority. So Triff's going to do a little better here. The goal is to take Nair and go off the stage, but not to be killed. Yeah, I was wondering if he was going to do the uh, the Wally where he goes for a weak dash attack into up smash. Because I know yeah. they talked a bunch about this matchup. Here it is! Speaking of the devil. Yep, that weak dash attack setting up perfectly in those spots where you can't get the true combo off the grab. Any and what stitch. do we have? What do we have? It's a stitch. Mango tried to shine it back. Yeah, grab it, grab it, grab it, oh, grab it, grab it. Oh. I think it was Z-drop, so it lost its properties. Oh, yeah. But at least it's out of the table right now. Momentum fully triff right now. Mango babysitting triff at the edge guarding. Drill gets grabbed. Wow. Oh, goes all the way out there, and Mango. Good four, vibe. Four stocks to two. Yeah, Triff playing exactly how you need to play when somebody's overwhelming you. The stage is pretty good for Beach, dare I say. I think it's hard and neutral, but I think Triff is just taking the punishes when they're happening. Just the power absolute. shielded the raw up smash. That's so brave. That is. Oh, wow. so he's about a four star Mango. The crowd is depressed. The Europeans in the crowd are happy, though. They're yeah. loving this. Yeah, they are. They're There's having like a great time. Four of them here. I wanted Marth Marquez. I'm not going to lie. He just power shield down smash. Yeah, we're going off the stage or are we going back? Oh, he tried to cover underneath the ledge with that down air. And that Trip should finishes. be it with a dominant four stock trip. Takes it over Mango. Oh, my God. Wow. I mean, to be able to do that off balance, to be able to do that to Mango, period. To be able to do that after you get destroyed game one. It takes talent. It takes drive. It takes dedication. Honestly. One indomitable will. Trip is a beast. And here it is. The down smashes are now coming out because that one was a, what looked like a pivot down smash just to put the spacing a little bit different than where you expect. Oh, he's catching all of Mango's landings. What a crazy edge grab. That's big. Mango manages to make it back. But did you see that DJ land back down to the stage? Yeah, that was insane. The movement looks perfect. The chase, the combos. After such a dominant game one for Mango, it seems like Trip is in complete control. Mango got gifted that one a little bit, burning with the upbeat, and now just froze Mango in the dash dance. What a beautiful dash back. Oh, throws the bomb. Mango getting battered around the stage. Weak Nair's not gonna do it. Mango still fighting, trying to finish this knock off, not lose five unanswered. How did and he caught uh, Mango's wave dash in by nearing in place? Yeah. You see that as soon as Mango up smashed, Trip almost reflexively air dodged. Yeah. So fast. Oh, he had the read and gets the up smash. Yeah, it has to be a read. It absolutely has to be a read. It's okay. high tide. We're going on to the windmill transformation. Yeah, this is a many, many secrets and tricks on this stage for both players. Oh, he's getting all in Trip's face right now. Yeah, but that was. I mean, that down smash was risky, period. And then at that point of the platform, heights, and the stage, up smash out of shield, just yeah. take the take the damage. He caught on to the fact that Trip is trying to do shield, uh, shield and or dash attack. And oh, wow, gets Another. the butt grab. That, that has happened now twice. The lasers. Trip did such a phenomenal job at dealing with Mango's short up approach there. He did a, like, he floated oh. a little bit up and went for a turn up throw. He to catch did. the. Oh! I gotta say, Mango lost that stock because he got greedy. He did not have the real estate to hit Drill Shine before Triff would slip to the ledge. And Triff's defense. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't he pushed him all. off with it the did. up smash. Yeah, that's beautiful. Two stocks to two. Anything can happen, but this is Mango's counter pick. I want to see a little bit more running and gunning. I want to see some guns and I want to see some grabs. I feel like Trip's gotten so much off of his shielding. That's right, yeah. And again, that little that little dash dance by Trip there, that's paying dividends. It is. Okay, there's the full hop. That's oh, great good. Great up tilt. Getting some extra laser percent. Doing better when he's drawing Trip into that unreactable zone, making him approach. And he has all of the momentum right now. So much corner pressure. Triff cannot get in. No. Oh my god. Tried to hit falling up air. That might have killed there, but now it's Triff's turn. I love that Mango went for a dash back there instead of a dash forward. Because Triff thought that Mango would panic and go to center stage immediately, and Mango did not bite. That's right. Okay, high percents. Two stocks to two. Big moment. Miss tech. Oh, covers falling up air. 
it almost looks like Mingo is... Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, he's full hopping preemptively now. We'll see how Triff responds. And he tried to cover with the forward air, and Mango just drifted a little bit far away. So he couldn't get a hit. Ah, uh, yeah, can't approach there. If you're not going to land directly on Peach of the Hitbox, that beats that CC down smash. Oh, he just goes right into it. Yes. Goes away on the transformation. Okay, you see this. You see Trip doing some platform tricks, trying to lure Mango in like Wally was earlier. But Mango is not falling for it at all. No overextension with that drill. Yes. Getting away from the down smash and keeping Trip in the air. Oh, it's a monster combo. They kill three. Final. Finally, we're seeing some patience. We're seeing some. And we're going right. Wait, did Trip just say we're going back? I think I you heard saw that. that, right? We're going to Green Greens? Okay, it can't have been. No, they're going to Fountain. It, it, that must have meant something different. Yeah, okay, thank God. That is wild. Yeah, it was, it could, this is Trip definitely lost a more mind. conventional counter yeah. pick. Yeah. Going back Stadium. to Stadium. Came through for Mango there. Okay, it's time for Fountain. You see there, now it's Mango calling Triff approaching. You the think Triff's going to go for the idiot check? Oh yeah, he's got it. On these, on this stage, with this platform, it depends on whether Mango's approaching. Shine, up smash, unfortunately Great sends Mango hit. to the wrong side. Oh, he's a genius. But it, doesn't it didn't even matter. Holding on the center stage, Triff trying to find an opening with these aerials, and Mango just too fast puts himself on stage. That second jump just, and we have a beam sword. What's Triff gonna do with it? Oh, the jab, the jab is such a good movement. You know what, just throw it away. Look at the patience and the shine up smash. Triff held shield, did not get pushed off this time. At that percentage, it makes sense for Triff to hold shield. Three stocks to three. A little bit of a lead for Triff. But Mango does not want to jump into any of these side platform. He thought that Triff was going to land on the side platform there, and Triff went through the platform and nared him. This could call out on Triff's part. Wow, Triff with a super, super risky, kind of a call in the tech chase there. Oh, the idiot test, and he gets caught rolling Mango in. Mango passed. Mango passed. Well, he passed again, though. Not that one. Not this time. Yeah. Well, that was just more of a dash back cover the landing. And again oh. there. But now he's shielding when he lands, yeah, gets and the slip off. He's also doing perfect shield the eye to not have his shield rip to shreds. That's right, because you can get torn apart and shield poked by that down B, or that down smash, excuse me. Oh, wow, good pick up there. kill, but great damage. If you don't get the drill shine, you can try getting a full hop drill if they haven't DI'd too far away. Look at the patience, look at the patience. Shield poke this time, that's the difference. Yeah. You do damage earlier and then that option opens up versus the shield. They just don't have enough shield. Not at all. But I'm gonna go off stage and like clockwork. It's beautiful. Turn up into Nair gets that edge guard. Another close game, two stocks to two, but Amazing wow. DI and counter hit off of that. He knew that Triff was gonna Z drop. Look at Mango's full hops this stock. He is looking like a completely different player than the Samara set. That's so good. It's patience. It's the patience to shield and the wave shine out. It's the perfect mix of aggression and patience. There it is. You see one laser and he knows it's time to go. You can put that full hop behind Peach. That was such a dangerous scenario. He could have gotten CC grab. Yeah, easy down smash. Good shield the eye, good grab from Triff. Where's it going? That's it for the edge guard. What do you do? Incredible angle on Mango's part to make it back to ledge. Right to ledge. And look at that dodge of the down smash. Catches the off stack too with the back airs. Where are we going? Beautiful coverage by Triff. But it won't kill. Not yet. But keeps top platform under lock. We're going to last stock game four. Triff is at kill percent though. Yeah, but we've seen Triff make these comebacks versus Josh, man. Very resilient player. That could have been up smash if it was a dash. Oh, oh no! no! Oh, and it's roll in. It's roll again. Mango's risking it all. Look at Triff. Triff getting aggressive out of the goal. Oh, they're just throwing moves. Triff's got him behind a 31. Percent after percent. <gasps> He read the full hop, but Mango drilled to get out of it. Did air there, and a back air is what Mango is looking for there, and up air. A great DI. Yep. Triff is trying to get one big opening, and Mango is just trying to poke with any aerial or up smash. Triff's been here so many times before. Mango's been here so many times before. Oh, that was on shield. Those were both risky by Triff. So huge. He's now in the corner. Needs to get oh, out and get the fair. Nair out. Okay. It won't kill. One more back air will finish, or an up air here. That's that going to be it. Do it. Mango makes it through to top eight winner side of one of the most stacked tournaments, avoids Triff.
he went all the way out there for that back air too. Like he risked it. If he misses that back air there, Trip yeah. is going to kill him there. That might be a tragedy there. And still, even with all that on the line, knowing how strong of a player Trip can be off the comeback, made that risk. And it worked out. You like to see that. I love the Croc cam too. Oh, Shout the Croc cam. Mangus Crocs, the orange. Yeah. They, they glow very nicely in that light. You like to see very that. Very much so. Matching his orange fox beautifully. So let's see what we have here. So, yeah, you see how willing, even at this point in the game, Mango is to deploy that drill into drill mix-up. Even when Triff is using SDI, getting to the other side, throwing out the grabs, this was unreal. And I, it's so just, good. Triff tried to throw up smash out of shield there to beat drill, but Mango's spacing was just too good. He was just able to get past all of Triff's defenses so perfectly, and whenever he was in a disadvantage, wouldn't take too much percent. Like, he got down smash checked a couple of times, but like every there. time he did, he would DI out of it, uh -huh. tech it, or do perfect shield DI. Yeah, Triff basically killed off of about four openings, got three stocks in that game. Yeah, that game was flawless by Triff. He played the FD game so well. Like, if you need your punishes, it doesn't matter how good the Fox is. See where he does that? That's that perfect. The key to that is the drift he gets off the original jump, which puts the backer much closer into Peach than a lot of other foxes will maybe necessarily get. That combo, he just did like three weak aerials in a row into yeah. the up smash, and it killed. That is many people's goats. Then we got this one, the fair to cover. It's beautiful. And the sly, like, I think it was a runoff back air. Mm -hmm. But that's what, the combo. that's what I love, the patience in the middle of that. Let trip burst out, hit shield. He has such a beautiful mind for melee. Both of these people do, honestly. Oh, yeah. Number one in Europe versus Mango. You do love to see it, even if it's not Armada. So this is what you were talking about here, right? That back yeah. here? Imagine that's a miss, right? Yeah. Triff's on stage. And Mango's, Mango's all the way down. down there. Like, he's dead there no matter what. Yeah, that's crazy. I can't believe he went for that. It's such yeah. a crazy risk. Only Mango would do that. Yeah. That, uh, that, was, that was chutzpah. That was balls. It was. Yeah. Speaking of balls, we've got a... Uh, <laughs> a pink one on stage right now. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. So we've got our last winner's quarterfinals of the day, Moki versus Hungrybox. So these two players, Moki and Hbox, need absolutely no introduction. For no. the record, Moki already won the tournament. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Kata, Kata, rest in peace.